What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Weekend Watch where I break down the top five movies at this past weekend's box office, but I also let you know what brand new films to expect in your local theater this coming weekend and also on streaming services. So good and bad news for Bullet Train because Bullet Train did debut in the number one spot. However, the bad news is it only did so pulling in $30.1 million this past weekend. Now, now, I personally predicted on my own, I did not say this in last week's video, but I thought it's a Brad Pitt movie. They usually open up around 50 to $60 million. So I went low and I said, Bullet Train will probably open with $50 million. I was off by $20 million. So we are officially in the summer movie slowdown. And the reason why this theory is confirmed for me is because the top five films at the box office did not even crack $65 million. All together, the top five pulled in $64 million. So what is the reason for the slowdown? I do have personal reasons and theories, and you guys let me know if you agree with me down below or not. If you have your own theory, I would love to hear what it is. So theory number one, why we're into the summer movie slowdown, we are in the month of August. People are finalizing vacations, going on last minute trips, seeing family, probably working on personal projects, their homes, getting things done. Going to the movies really isn't their number one priority right now. They kind of want to tackle everything and just wrap everything up in their personal lives before getting back to a quote unquote normalcy with going back to work, going back to school, because I know some schools start at the end of August and some schools start in the beginning of September. Reason number two is massive heat wave. We have had a massive heat wave here in Connecticut. And I'm sure all over the country, we have been feeling it. We certainly have been feeling it here. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to say, Susan, but when you go to the movie theater, it's cool inside. It's so hot here. You don't even want to step one foot outside of your door. The heat and the humidity is so high it's disgusting. It feels like soup out there, soupy weather. And who wants to leave their house when you have air conditioning, at least I hope so, air conditioning inside, you have streaming services, which I'm assuming people are rather to watch their streaming services at home than venture out in this heat and go see a movie at the movie theater. Third possible reason, Maybe people just aren't interested in the movies that are coming out. I mean, I hope that's not the reason, but that's always a possibility. If you guys have different theories, I would love to hear what they are down below in the comments. So in second and third place, second place goes to DC League of Super Pets down one spot from last week with $11.2 million. And then in third place, we have Nope with another $8 million, almost at that $100 million mark. However, in three weeks, it still has not achieved this. That is just crazy to me. I can't believe it's taking this long for Nope, a Jordan Peele property, to cross the $100 million mark. But it will do that this coming week. In fourth and fifth place, in fourth place is Thor Love and Thunder with another $7.6 And it's almost at the $700 million mark worldwide. It definitely is not going to catch up to Thor Ragnarok because that movie grossed over $800 million. And as we know, Thor 4 is losing its speed. And then rounding out the top five is Minions Rise of Gru with another 7.1 million. So what is new that could possibly save the box office this coming weekend? What could possibly draw people in? There's, well, there's four options, but one of them is just so lame. I hate to include it, but technically I have to. So there's four brand new options for you. So last week when I was reporting box office, I included bodies, 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 but unbeknownst to me, Last weekend was a very limited release. LA, New York, very select cities. However, in those cities, it pulled in a decent amount of money. So I'm curious to see how this movie is actually going to actually going to perform when it comes out wide release this coming Friday. So you do have the horror film option if you want to go that route. There's also a new film starring Diane Keaton called Mac and Rita. 
I have no idea why this movie is coming out in theaters. I have not seen any advertising for it whatsoever. In my opinion, they just should have dumped this on streaming, but it's coming out in movie theaters. I guess they're trying to appeal to that older demographic, but let me tell you, if this heat wave rages on like it has been, the older demographic is not leaving their home. They are staying home in their central AC, trust me. Third option is Emily the Criminal, and fourth option is Fall. Both of these movies sound pre pretty interesting to me, and my curiosity is piqued. I may go and see all three of these, except for Mac and Rita. I'll try to fit them in, because they all sound pretty good, and I do want to support the box office, because obviously it needs our help. So what is new to streaming this coming weekend? If you do not want to leave your house, it is too hot, too humid out, there is a ton of options on streaming this weekend, more than last weekend. And I thought last weekend was stacked. No, this coming weekend is crazy. So starting off over on Netflix, we have a brand new film with Jamie Foxx called Day Shift and also season three of Lock and Key. Over on HBO Max, there is a brand new documentary about Princess Diana called The Princess. Hulu has The Children of the Underground, a docu-series. Disney Plus is dropping I Am Groot, little mini shorts about Groot, so that could be really cute if you have kids. You might want to watch that together. Amazon Prime is dropping a lot of things this weekend, so it's bringing over Sonic 2 and also The Lost City, and for original material, it has a league of their own, I believe a brand new series based off of the movie of the same name, and then also Cosmic Love. Paramount Plus is having Respect and Candyman. And then finally, over on Apple TV+, Plus, there is a brand new series, I believe it's a series, not a movie, Five Days at Memorial, which sounds extremely interesting. So if you have Apple TV+, Plus, I would definitely encourage you to watch that. So that is everything happening at the box office and on streaming. So let me know down below, what are your theories about this box office? Why is it so slow? Do you agree with me? Yes or no? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.